Today we're having some ground cover crab. We're going to talk about what is a ground cover and how can you have a ground cover crab if it's just meant for ground cover. We're going to talk about all that in this video. Hello everyone, thank you all so very much for joining in. This is the Lofani Trading Gardeners channel and I'm going to be giving you very long at all for this video. I know that you're very busy people with a lot of important things to do. So we're going to talk about what's happening behind me here. This area here gets very much overtaken with grass. Like you can see some really powerful grass over here that has some really deep roots. So a few years ago, what I decided is that in the rainy season, when this starts to happen, um, well, before it starts to happen with the grass to take over, all that dries up there is just grass over time is that I'm going to plant a crop that can outcompete the grass. And one of the best crops that does that to outcompete the grass is, what do you think this is? Look at this leaf. Sweet potato. Sweet potato in Trinidad grows amazingly. So the idea here is very simple. It's basically that you plant your ground cover, which in this case happens to be sweet potato, just at the point where you think that the grass is going to come up or even in preemptively, before even you see any sign of grass, which is what we're going to be doing today after this video. And the point is that all plants need sunlight to grow and they also need space and they need to have root space. And if you can plant something that's beneficial to you in a specific spot before the grass or the weeds, whatever you don't want, can come up, then you're able to now stifle those plants so that you can get some of what you want without getting some of the plants that you don't want. And that's how a ground cover is supposed to work. Now, ground covers don't just work like that, not just for that reason. People also plant ground covers to produce um, nitrogen to put down into the soil. That's why people will plant things like clover um, and you'll also plant um, some beans and then too many them to allow nutrition to go down into the soil. That's another way of doing ground cover. But in this case here, the ground cover is really meant to stifle the weeds so that I don't get weeds growing up here. I will get something growing up. You can't just have it empty unless you just really heavily mulch, which is another option. But you'll have to continuously mulch. So I prefer to use the ground here for sweet potatoes. Put the sweet potato in the ground. Let the vine in the sweet potato, which grows crazy, even if it doesn't have actual soil to go down in, the vines will just keep on growing. And use those vines to stifle out the weeds. And then you get a small harvest of sweet potatoes, but more importantly, you get the not, not having the space for the weeds to come and take over that spot. And the sweet potato vines are also edible. Not the vine itself, but the leaves. You can eat it. You can eat it raw. You can also steam it down. Eat it like bhaji. Really, really good. Really nice, nutty, sweet, kind of leafy green flavor. But the idea here is that I'm going to be harvesting out whatever sweet potatoes I would have had growing in this area here. This has been here for about four or five months since last year and we have now about two months before the rainy season starts to get back going so i want to harvest out all of this and i want to give the next planting our sweet potatoes two months to establish themselves properly so that when the rain starts and the weeds start to come up there's going to be no competition these sweet potatoes right now they're kind of dying back because they have been here for five months and the vines will die back that's also a sign that the sweet potatoes are at the point now where they're mature whether you have sweet potato whether you don't have the vines are ready to die back and you need to replant or maybe those same vines those same vines will produce more vines for you but the idea now is just i'm going to be pulling it back and seeing what we get um to prepare myself because in this area here i have had issues with you know some garden snakes and that kind of thing which i'm not a fan of i don't like snakes at all and will run probably cry if i see a snake um i have my boots right this is a bit of protection here um and my important tools here i have my trooper little trowel garden trowel here and um trooper as well for the um can't really see it but it's um a little fork here because this is really really handy right and this has taken so much damage over the course of the past three years which, was, which is how long i've had this it's been really just uh, kind of dinged up but um it works really wonders you can get this in uh, any brand that is affordable to you i generally go with the trooper for these things here because i find the price is really good and they're really really um durable they can take the damage and you know i leave it out in the rain i take sun that kind of thing really low maintenance kind of tools so these are going to be my important um pieces of equipment as we go out in our little mission here now i before this video i did because i saw lucy um lucy who's right there um i saw her digging up in this area here and um, that's one of the reasons why i decided to you know push and do this video today because um, I didn't want her to, you know, go dig up any of my sweet potatoes. So I think that she found this one, which is really good on her. 
that she was able to so i saw her just digging around this area here and look at this wow this area here is not the best like it's actually not like like look at that you know what that is that's red block <laughs> it's rubble that these sweet potatoes are growing up in but we do get some things and this little sweet potato hunter helps us to find it she's probably seeing one right now let's say you see a sweet potato let's say usually the goal is to fill one of these buckets if i can fill one of these buckets with sweet potatoes i consider it to be a fairly successful sweet potato harvest the area here is not the best it's not actual soil here it's rubble so um you have little pockets of soil in between from places that i dug up but as a general rule like you don't put your, your finger down here and get dirt or mud it's literally just like bricks and you know all pieces are like stone and actually this is a full pile of just um like bricks and mortar and stone that that's kind of what's going on in this area here so we do get little chances to to put some stuff sweet potatoes will grow in like this much soil so it really doesn't matter for them they will grow um the vine but for them to be able to go down and produce that tuba you're not going to get that you're going to get the vine and you won't have anything underneath because i've seen people with like huge yards full of sweet potato and you probably get like two or three actual sweet potatoes because you don't have the space underneath or the soil isn't loose enough which is why people will till and rotivate and you know make sure and plow their land before they plant sweet potatoes but this was on here that lucy found we're gonna go in and see if we can get it up up right i also think my mic is going to die at some point so i'll have to hey look on next one next it oh yeah you didn't see that one okay well <laughs> you see i can't even put my full my um trowel down because this is what you have. This is what is growing. Okay, so I think I got it out. Let's see. Oh, look at this nice boy. Wow. Super potato price has been really pricey. Um, <laughs> it's been really high recently in the, in the market. So, really happy for this. This feels like a, a one pounder. That's like a. Uh, Point one of a pound. Okay, I'm seeing another one in this area here. I'm gonna pull back the vines and see if we can properly get it. One of the ways that you can look for your potatoes, um, if you're like this looks like one big mess, is pull on the vine. And whenever you feel any kind of resistance, like in this case here. I'm pulling I'm gonna feel resistance here because there's something in the ground there and it'll come in and normally once you, there is space for the sweet potato to grow you're gonna get a sweet potato up oh. there we go no need to grow see like here I'm getting some resistance so there's a chance that there could be something in this whole area here okay there was something but it wasn't anything worth writing home about Okay, so that's pulling the vine it's got some resistance over here let's see what the resistance is about oh. so notice that i'm now wearing a glove you really should wear gloves when you're doing these things so please do as i say not as i do and i'm not putting my hand down first i'm putting the shovel down so i think that makes up for it Okay, so the resistance was about here. Here feels like pure rubble. Generally, when it's pure rubble, I don't expect to get very much because if my finger can't go down in it, then how could it actually grow in it? Let's see. Okay, so I cut off the head of a super potato here. So there is something. It may not be the biggest, but there is something there for me to cut off the head off. Up. Yep. I'm seeing something not the biggest, but it is sweet potato. Something important when you do have is your sweet potatoes, take out any vines that you have growing on it because this is going to suck life for the sweet potato. 
you want to keep all that moisture all that nutrition inside of the tuber itself remember this is not roots this is super little roots here this is a tuber this is where they store energy and just continue pulling right so i'm getting some resistance over there you see that so let me come down to over here um kind of wary because we have some volunteer pumpkin plants coming up one two and i feel like i'm stepping on one i think i just destroyed this one let me molding up a little bit and see what see if anything happens there okay what was my resistance okay okay let's see let's see what we're working with um let me do this one channel Yeah, I'm skeptical about this side because this side generally doesn't have much actual dirt. Okay, no, nothing. Either that or I lost where the resistance was. But. Okay, so feeling some resistance here, right? See that? It's not coming up, right? So. I'm gonna take this, not done now with my hand, going down with this. You see, also when you see the size of the root, and the root looks a little bit thicker, you see how this is the normal stem kind of looks like, right? See that? But then when it gets this thick, it's usually a sign that you could have sweet potato in that area. And wow, it looks like we got it. I don't know if you all can see it yet on the film. Let me give my space here. Oh, banding, yeah. Always happy to see banding very much. Especially volunteer bandia. I find volunteer bandia works better than any other kind of bandia. But oh my goodness, are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? You see, last time when I planted in, I dug up some areas and I put soil. And I think that's what we're seeing the results of right now. Because I thought this was a big boy. And this is a big boy. But I feel like this one here is competition for it. Let's see what, that, what happens. What ends up happening. So just going to use, now that I've found it, with the help of the sort of scraper, I'm going to use this now. You know, let me get on nippers. Let me take it out one time. Oh my goodness. Yes. Right. Let's go take this. Right. I'll just make it easier to pull it out. When you cut the vine, especially when the place is hot, you're going to see a bit of this white glue substance. Right, that's sticky. Yeah, I've got some of it on the right so just be careful with it. So it doesn't get in your clothes, good stain. Oh. Literally can't even dig down because it feels like rubble, but... Okay, I might need to answer this operation. Okay, so I'm trying to work on the gymnastics to see how much as possible I can make this visible to you all. I think this is the best I can do. Oh my goodness. Hope you can see it though. Let me see. Maybe from there. Whoa. Oh. Oh my god. Look at the size of this let me see if there's anything attached over here i need to memorize where all of these kind of deep holes are so i can come back and plant into them this afternoon but wow look at the size of that wow look at the size of that whoa this is incredible like look at the size <laughs> Getting some resistance on this side. Okay, so that wasn't actually resistance because it came up really easily. Let's see. Some resistance. Okay, I think I'm seeing something. Not a big one, but oh yeah, multiples. Yeah. Not 
quality but quantity over here So coming up to this point, oh yeah, there's one here visible. Okay, I don't know how it pushed up, probably because of rubble on it, or you know, Lucy dug it up. But um, <laughs> I was happy to find cute potatoes in the backyard. Let's see if I can get my nippers. Forget all the time how tiring super duper harvest can be. So shout out to the people who do this for a living. Whoa! Also, must be exciting. You must enjoy it, at least to some to some extent, because it's so cool. It's like finding treasure in your backyard. Here, got my tools. Right here. Right so. This is a little mound that I made, just some random garden soil, nothing spectacular over here. But I did see this one and the vine looks fairly thick, so I'm just going to follow it. If your soil is nice and loose, if you're lucky to have nice and loose soil, you see how nice and loose this is coming out here? That's not the case most of the places in this garden. But if your soil is nice and loose like this, you're not going to have a hard time growing sweet potatoes. You really won't. They grow so easily even in rubble i just had one over here you also it i guess it i covered it up up i think it's yeah this is it yeah okay okay so baby baby cube little let's hope the other side of the vine is more profitable Yep, well, I've seen some red, so that's a good sign. Doesn't look like a big, big boy, but super potato nonetheless. Okay, so this is kind of crazy because this is pure, like, so this is concrete here. Concrete, that's what we have really here. And uh, my super potato just grew up on top of the concrete, more or less. That is really cool. Look at it. So, like, I don't know, <laughs> I'm not sure what the mat was here, but happy that it worked out. We're going to be careful pulling it this year because it's a bunch of leaves and you never know what you have on the leaves. So I'm just going to use this and this pull. I can't check on every resistance in this area here. So, I'm just going to pull the entire leaves, set the leaves back and um, just hope for the best. If there is anything like a sweet potato, it will show itself. In these cases where it's just concrete, or mainly concrete, um, you will see like vines like this that did want to form sweet potatoes, but they weren't able to because of lack of space. Every once in a while you get a miracle, but that's a general rule of how that works. Oh my good god, I, I was just, I just showed you all this one here, that we just got in the silt, just growing in silt, not even like soil, like literally just a mixture of water and like the runoff of dirt, and this is mind blowing, I've never seen this before in this backyard, look at this, this grew basically like, I want to show you all because I don't want you all to not believe me, look at what's happening on it here. This is concrete. This is concrete here. There is no fake in this. This is concrete. And look at what the sweet potato did. Just any bit of silt. It just grow. Okay, so there is a full-on bajak nest in this area here. I mean, why not? But look at this. My goodness. This is incredible. 
this is really really incredible now these one of these did bite me a few days ago so i'm careful okay so i'm going to try not to get it in so i'm going to put off over there i'm going to put off over here and hopefully i can get it in. whoa whoa look at that up can get them off myself there we go look at that bright red it's so nice my goodness that's a perfectly formed potato wow wow i'm happy this box is full i'm happy okay size okay so i thought we were out but not fully yet we're getting there came up here was just pulling all these vines and got some resistance there you go and yeah it's small I'll be taking it. I think I saw something else over here too. Oh yeah, this area here has some silt plus some dirt. Okay, I think that's an actual snake. I think that's an actual baby snake. And <laughs> I won't run away for that, but um, yeah, okay. Yeah, there we go. Whoa. That is incredible. Okay, so I saw one or two small snakes and I'm not playing with that. So I'm just going to get, well, I basically already got my um, garden hoe. I'm just going to be using that. So I just pull back all the vines over here. I'm just doing a random check to see if I miss any sweet potatoes. I am, I am going to be planting back. And any sweet potatoes that I leave in the soil, they're going to spring up their own foliage. Like over here, I'm seeing a small one. I think that's right. Um, there we go. So when this is going to spring back up new foliage so it's not the end of the world if they do remain but i um i do want to replant i do want to make sure and put vines down in the areas that i know does have a fair bit of soil or whether it's soil silt because as you're seeing it can produce results i'm using the sharp edge of the oh my god this is incredible look at this I think just in my voice throughout the video, you would know that I'm really happy and just really impressed, really excited about this harvest. I was not expecting some of these massive sized sweet potatoes. I'm really happy. If you want to know how to grow sweet potatoes, we might do have growing guides on the channel for growing sweet potatoes in bags, in ground, in a container, in a fridge, an old recycle fridge. Feel free to check out any of those videos or you can also go and look for any of the other harvests because it's always always exciting when you have a sweet potatoes it's like treasure growing in your backyard and it is treasure because the price has been high recently remember that you can follow us on instagram tiktok and on facebook see more content from the training gardens garden feel free to tag us on any of those platforms where we're so happy to see what's happening in your garden because it's such a motivation it's a blessing to see what you all are getting up to in your home spending time with your friends and with your family and with yourself in nature remember as always this has been dylan from the training gardeners channel reminding you to get up and get growing take care